Native Houstonians will remember the story of David Vetter. He was the young boy who was so immunocompromised, Texas Children's Hospital and NASA collaborated to build him a bubble where he was able to safely live. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez spoke with his mother today to discuss a very important anniversary. She joins us now with a story that you will see only on two. Haley? Yes, yeah, so tomorrow would actually be David Vetter's 50th birthday. Now, in medicine, this gives an exact date on when they can look back and say this is exactly how far they've come treating kids who were born immune compromised. And it's a very special time for his mother who set out 50 years ago to make David's life meaningful and she succeeded. David's contribution to science was dramatic and I'm proud to have shared in David's life. Carol Ann Demerit is the mother of David Vetter and an advocate for families and babies affected by immune disorders. When her son was born in 1971, he was so immunocompromised that he lived in a sterile bubble designed by Texas Children's Hospital and NASA. Back then, the only way to keep him alive was to always keep him away from germs, and it began at his birth. I had watched as one doctor baptized David, which was my only request, and the other doctor seal the bubble. He died in 1984 at age 12, but today the David Center at Texas Children's saves many lives because of what they learned throughout David's time as a patient. In this never before seen video provided by Texas Children's, you can see David engaging in activities like most kids, playing with blocks, learning to read and write, and his mother says he had an idea that he was contributing to science, but nobody could have imagined how huge that contribution would be. We began to understand uh, things about the immune system that impacted not only children with primary immunodeficiency and adults with primary immunodeficiency, but um, people with AIDS, cancer, and other immune diseases. So while the loss of a child never goes away, the victories in science give David's family a reason to celebrate every day, especially on his birthday. I think it's important that people not feel sorry for David or for his family because it was a lot of joy in, in raising David. Now, one of the more recent breakthroughs as a result of David's life is newborn screening that can detect immune diseases. Dr. Davis says there's currently over 400 immunodeficiency diseases that can be treated before patients develop an infection, which can be life-threatening. Many are treated with bone marrow transplantation, another breakthrough in science for which David was their first patient. Guys.